And hello everybody to this uh, fine and quite frankly warm, damn my mic swivel, warm <laughs> uh, Saturday. Uh, at the moment it's not that warm, but as I, uh, there we go. As I said yesterday, it, it will eventually get much warmer. Hence today, why this week we only do one story mission instead of two, because I never know how long these story missions are. And, um... I don't want to get to a point where, it's, where, I, where I'm sweating buckets in my room. I know some people might say use a fan. I've used a fan in the past and it makes little to no difference. So it's better just to do a shorter stream today than uh, sweating people. But I do have myself a nice glass of cold water to keep myself nice and hydrated. I hope everyone in the UK is keeping myself nice and hydrated. We can plenty of water is always the best thing. Because um, weird science, I don't know if it's science is what Drinking fizzy drinks is actually a bad idea because it's a diuretic, which basically means it makes you pee more. The more you pee, the more dehydrated you get because when you expel your, 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 this stuff from your stuff, you dehydrate yourself. So you're just going around in circles. That's why as plain as boring as water is, it is better that than anything to keep yourself nice and hydrated. I don't know why I went like that. Um, hmm. But all the same, I am good we'll see, see how the weather goes though at least that's the best the best bet at the moment it's just see how how the weather goes because right now it is about 22 degrees but according to my i don't know why my air purifier displays the temperature but it just does and it's 26 degrees in my room because as i said before i don't know why but my room has to be the most warmest room in that bloody house but I do have windows open and so I keep make sure I keep myself nice and cool but yeah I think that's about all, all my mm. that's the other problem with it being so warm it's harder to sleep I already, I already have trouble sleeping but then how, it being warm as well it makes it even more difficult I meaning my energy is, it's weird because I before I started I was like yeah I feel great and then yeah, as it usually does it disappears out of nowhere but I guess with that aside, we'll start, uh, we'll, we'll switch to the game before my brain does does a meltdown. Um, there we go. And we're doing, um, I don't know how to pronounce her name properly. We should probably say it herself. We're doing the ghost girl. That's, that's, that's all I'm going to do. Um, and I just realized we're in the wrong area to do it. Not so. I hate you. I... Oh, I didn't. Wow, I am so sorry. I am all over this. I need to actually select the mission and then go totally away. Oh, of course, she would be in this area. <laughs> the creepy place of the aware. Creepy, spooky place. And I seem to have picked the wrong fast travel point. That's more like it. <gasps> Oh, the ghosts! <laughs> Why did we come here? Paimon's got a bad feeling about this. She's got a ghost, Paimon? Um, not that Paimon's scared or anything. Just, uh, concerned for your safety. Sure you are. Sure you are, Paimon. It's just that this is how lots of scary stories go. You're in an empty place, in the middle of nowhere, there's barely any light, and then just when you least expect it, a stranger comes out of... No. Oh, oh there we go. Ah, quick, do something! Don't... Don't you... Didn't you say some... some didn't you say you weren't scared? Paimon's intuition says that anyone we run into here is going to be far from normal. If he gets us, he's gonna eat Paimon for sure. And you are the emergency food, aren't you? Who are you? I'm a traveler. I've become beyond... <laughs> I came beyond... for beyond the... <laughs> I mean, it's technically true. Let's not, let's not scare this poor man. Traveler, are you from one of the other nations? 
Um, no, I've never seen your kind of attire before. Could it be that you traveled from the other side? Uh, no. I'm just here for a funeral. I don't mean to offend. No matter who you are, there's no need for any ill will between us. Not a ghost. Ooh. Seems he's just your average scaredy cat. He looks more afraid than Paimon. Did I s scare him? Yep, yep. You should leave the introductions to Paimon. Don't be afraid. We come in peace. Be not afraid, young one. We just saw later. <laughs> I don't know if the heat's already getting into me, but it feels like it is. Ah, gods protect me! <laughs> no, no, no! Stop freaking out and stand still! Relax! I mean, it's really hard to relax when someone like you, you're very rare, Paimon. All he sees is a, is a floating little chi child in almost completely white. I mean, that gives off ghosty, eerie vibes, doesn't it? I don't know is that the both her sleeves and the ankle parts are very pointy. Cause she like actually like stabbed some of those because they look like they're made out of metal. Like she just like go. They've been the the juggling and blood just sprays out. Relax. Yes, whatever you say. Please stay your hand. I can put my hand up your ass if you like. Don't come any closer. I mean you no harm. Don't! Don't touch me! I guess he doesn't want to be fisted then. Fair enough. Hey! I already said nothing's gonna happen! Was it something Paimon said? Let's go after him. He might do something stupid. Yeah, he might get fisted by someone else. Maybe like a hilly troll. Ah, oh, there she is. <sighs> director! Director! There's a ghost after me! Oh? <laughs> Don't get too excited. These are clients, not ghosts. Exactly! We said we're not ghosts! Why won't you calm down and let us explain? Although, clients doesn't seem quite right either. Uh, yeah, forgive me. This is one of our new undertakers, Mung. It's his first time working a funeral, so of course he's afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> funeral. Funeral. <gasps> oh, the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Zhang Li is a consultant there. They deal with this stuff a lot, right? Oh, you know Zhang Li? Well, that saves me a lot of explaining. I'm Hu Tao, the current director That's of the it. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, responsible for, uh, well, trifling matters having to do with immortality. A satisfying trade to be in, though, and Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is well known around town. Whatever the request, I'd be glad to hear it. I don't think we, we fall into the clock. Yeah, if we are looking for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's help, this is hardly the place we would come to. Ah, oh, but you see, I wasn't referring to clients in the business sense. Everyone who enters this mortal realm will be a client of mine. Oh, I forget <laughs> what she can be. She's basically impl implying that eventually you're gonna die and you're gonna kind of need us to, for your funeral's expense. I never noticed her, um... Her irises are like little flowers. Isn't the iris? I don't notice that. Because I actually have her. Um, um, I feel like I should try to level her up. Like I said before, I, 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 when it comes to leveling up characters, I kind of have to be in the mood. Because it is very... This, this, I've said this enough times. This is the only gripe I do have with this game. Is that it is very, very, very grindy. And it's like... There's only so many times you want to face the same bosses. It's mainly doing the bosses because you have to fight specific bosses to get specific items. And facing the same boss over and over again can get. Sorry, I was just looking at the stream and it just dipped for a second. Can get tiring. Sooner or later. 
Yep. Well, that's dark. <laughs> Basically, what I said. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor welcomes advanced reservations. When you choose us, you'll never have to worry about what might be around the corner. Death, I'm assuming. But be sure to book the right date. Pro tip, it is a living nightmare trying to get flowers at short notice. <sighs> Why did the light have to hit the side of her face? She looks very kind of ghostly like that. Speaking of dates. If you're struggling to decide, please do come and talk it over. I'd hate to see you still alive and kicking when your big day comes. Okay. Oh, slow down. That's... You... There's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> That's all... Sounds very... Bizarre? Bizarre? <laughs> You'll have to excuse her. The director is a rather unique individual. Allow me to explain. Okay, explain away. We'd heard that there had been some supernatural activity at Wuong Hill. To restore calm here, we performed a funeral ceremony. Uh -huh. It went very smoothly. According to the director, we shouldn't be expecting any more issues in the near future. Yeah, are you sure about that? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, Wuang Hill, Funeral... What more is there to say? These three belong in the same sentence. You two, on the other hand, have no business coming to Wuang Hill. You being here is not normal. Well, how very rude. Um, maybe your understanding of normal isn't quite normal. I'm here on an adventure. Adventure? <laughs> you must hail from the Adventurers Guild. Well, that's uh, just in the name, so yeah. Then you are one of our distinguished clients. Would, to be precise. Would? What do you mean? <laughs> Would. That's just how we gauge our clients' importance. We have four levels. Wicker, bamboo, wood, and marble. The higher the grade, the better we'd like to get to know you. All right. But I've just only heard of this. Well, that's because I only just thought of it. Oh, don't look so shocked. This is always been weird, I guess, when you're playing with the characters. You don't notice them. I just know she's got, like, rings on each of her fingers. As well. Oh, take a look. Our adventurers spend the whole day scaling mountains, clearing domains, and smiting enemies. Danger and peril are their bread and butter. Clients like these deserve better treatment. Taking an interest in their daily lives will ultimately benefit not only them, but also me. Oh, touched a nerve, did I? I'd have thought any adventurers who dare come here would be used to conversations like this. Anyway, I have a favor to ask. Recently, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has been trying to strike a business deal with the Adventurers Guild. With you acting as an intermediary, it would be so much easier. I don't really want to take part in your business. Hmm, let me think what I could offer you as a reward. <gasps> or perhaps there's a favor I could do in return? You know, I'm not going to say it. I'll leave that to your imaginations. Ah, we're looking for someone. We've asked a lot of people, but nobody seems to have a clue where they are. This seems like something right up my alley. I can even inquire with the ones who no longer speak for you. You see? Helping me will be worth your while. Come on then, my able assistants. Let's get down to Liyue Harbor and do some business. Uh, when did we become your assistants? Uh, it seems just right now, fine. Longshun Funeral Parlor. The ones who no longer speak. Oh, did she mean talking to the dead? Uh, she's a weird one. Indeed. <laughs> but not a bad weird, right? An interesting weird. 
I would say. There she is. Ugh, you again. Look, I told you, we're not interested in the kind of cooperation you describe. Come on, there's no reason to get upset. Look, one of your members is an avid supporter of my proposition. I... I... haven't... have... I have to agree. Just... This, just hear her... just hear her out. Oh, since our last negotiation, <laughs> I've come up with a new proposal, which I think you'll find has far more benefits for you. First things first, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor will prioritize the Adventurer's Guild requests above all others. You'll also receive 100 of our signature wooden coffins for free, together with your first order. But that's not all. We also provide an on-site cadaver collection service covering almost all regions in Liyue. Now, we do charge a slight premium for a very small number of especially dangerous areas, but, but don't you worry about that. I promise you, it's still very affordable. <laughs> I don't think you're hearing me. Okay, all right. I get it. You want to bargain a little more. But our offer as it stands is already quite a good deal, don't you think? Just think about it. An adventurer's life is full of unexpected threats. It's only natural to take precautions. Mend the roof before it rains, as they say. Huh? I've never heard that saying before. Yeah, no. I'm not so sure that saying applies in this context. Speaking of precautions, I'd rather focus on keeping my adventurer safe in the first place. It's time for you to go. I have to attend to other matters. Wait, hold on. What would you say to a group discount? 30% off for parties of 10? Director, please, you did your best. We don't need another clash with the Millilith. Uh, if Paimon understood all that correctly, it seems like she's trying to sell them the funeral parlor services. <laughs> I, I said, then. Yeah, nothing left to do here. Let's go back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. All right then, that's the part. part. Rejecting a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, it's their loss. Some things are inevitable. It's only a matter of time. Wait, no, wait, wait I'm gonna wait. My brain is gone. I think the heat's already getting into me. I think the heat. I can feel it. I can feel the heat beating on me. Oh cat! Little cutie, cutie, little cutie cat. One up there, I'd still want them to do it at some point. It's being able to pet the animals. Why would you have all these cute adorable little animals and not give the option to pet? I want to pet it. I want to pet the cat. Ah, crap! Oh, that was close. I'm gonna fall to my death. I'm to pet the cat. <sighs> Seems like the old ways are the most reliable after all. Mung, are you done preparing our promotional materials? Nah, uh, my apologies. I'm only about halfway through. I'm halfway Do you really think they will be effective? <laughs> okay. Trust me, they're going to work wonders. This marketing strategy has been used by Wangsheng Funeral Parlor for generations. Clients in need come to our door and write down their commissions on blank wooden tiles. Then they squeeze those inside the parlor through the crack under the door. I fulfill the request written on each tile to make sure our clients are satisfied with the service, no matter if it's an obituary, cremation, or funeral that they seek. Although, it is a bit of a hassle with the constant back and forth. If only we could burn them by the batch. Uh, I I can't begin to point out the inefficacy. Uh, uh, no, director, I'm not asking about the wooden tiles themselves, but about the special oh, the, the, offer they burn. advertise. No wait, was she on about burning the bodies by the batch or the wooden tiles? And I, you know, it's not, it's not going on. Let's just move on. <laughs> 
Wangsheng Funeral Parlor should keep up with the times. Just think about it. If we don't attract new clients, we'll be left with nothing, won't we? Business development is a crucial element of every prosperous enterprise. I've been trying various marketing strategies ever since I became the director. I put up posters just like all the other shops, but the Millilith promptly removed them. Then I organized the Wangsheng Visitor's Day, but no one showed up. Well, that doesn't come as a huge surprise. And finally, I discovered that the traditional ways are the most reliable after all. I took inspiration from the wisdom of previous directors. So now, I go from door to door looking for people and organizations willing to cooperate. Just like during our visit to the Adventurers Guild, that's what I mean by business development. The other method I'm trying is using the wooden tiles as coupons, just by writing things like buy one get one free for the holder of this tile on them. Wait, uh, wait. <laughs> what? Buy one get one? You mean I got? Why would you? If I guess just in case, I I guess it can kind of see it. Like if someone dies, don't need this. I mean, it could be a while before no class dies. I guess if you, the coffin's there, I guess. Uh, what do they buy and what do they get? A solid and durable second home, of course. Well, they may not need it right away, but they can be sure that when they do, it will still be as good as new. <clears throat> it won't start deteriorating before you finish doing so yourself. That's the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor quality guarantee. She is very enthusiastic about death. I I don't I don't know what to say to that. No wonder you're on the middle of <laughs> All right, Mung. Keep adding those special offers to the wooden tiles. The future of our business depends on it. <sighs> I'm still not sure this will work. Oh, I get it. You think that our special offer is not comprehensive enough, right? It is true. I was offering all kinds of great benefits to the Adventurers Guild because they are a new client. But in doing so, I neglected my old clients. You're right. It's unfair. Hmm. Let me do some market research. Wait here, my faithful assistants. I'll be back with you in a moment. Shouldn't take too long. Paimon already told you we're not your assistants! Ugh. Guess we got dragged into somebody else's business again. <laughs> Let's look around while she's away. I see the cat in the back. Oh, look, it's so white and beautiful. The cat. I just want to. Oh, I just want to pet the little kitty. kitty. Oh, do we get to play the kitty? No, okay. Oh, I see. We're going to talk to different uh, people. We'll start with the board. No board used for. Alright. You must be the director's new hires. Uh, no. Not us. We're just very curious about Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and who's how. Well, I wouldn't get too curious if I were you. Too much knowledge isn't good for ordinary folk. Was it curiosity he killed the cat? I see a cat behind me. The director is tactful when it comes to what should and shouldn't be known. Huh? Tactful? Oh, we get. Oh, I was supposed to go to sit. This door is one shrunk in the park. Right. Okay. We should get going. Let's go find Hu Tao. Hu Tao. Hu Tao. That's settled then. Write it like this. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Bumper Sale. Buy one, get one free. Buy two, get three free. More for your Mora. <laughs> I love it. Better than all that lifeless brochure stuff. We want people to feel warm and fuzzy. Uh, it's a bit hard to do that when someone's passed away. Oh, even though her socks have little flowers on it. 
Just noticed that as well. Uh, but director, isn't Lifeless the name of the game in this industry? Yeah, see? That's old hat. We're opening up new ground. Why does Wangsheng Funeral Parlor need to open up? <sighs> yes, Director. Oh, I'm not bored. Like I said, there's a heat. I'm not sleeping any better than I usually Poor guy's giving up. Right, we should get going. I am not letting new business escape us. We? <laughs> As in us? Yep. <laughs> Who else? Do you see anyone else around here? Well, you probably wouldn't see them if there was. Uh, what about your, the, the, your, the assistant? He's there. Stop adding little afterthoughts like that! It creeps people out! <laughs> Just a joke, sorry. Everything you see is everything that's present. For the moment, at least. Comforting. It's good to think before you speak. <laughs> uh, lighten up. The way I see it, people make death scarier than it really is. Because it is! What people truly fear about departing this world is suffering and regret. To deal with the trauma, they let their imaginations run wild with notions of ghosts and evil spirits. <sighs> oh, baseless fantasies. <sighs> what we've ended up with is a topic that people are morbidly afraid of talking about. If I don't broach the subject, then Wangsheng Funeral Parlor won't be long for this world. But I've seen a ghost. Oh, more approachable and appeasable than you'd imagined? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Let's just say at least it didn't hurt us. <laughs> you must have come across a particularly ferocious entity. How should I put this? Most spirits are incapable of harming ordinary folks. The job of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is to guard the border between life and death. One component of this is correcting notions of death and the afterlife that people may hold. Simply put, for those unable to see the border, they're best kept as far away from it as possible. So for ordinary folks, the best case scenario is ignorance of all matters concerning spirits and the afterlife, or even better, a belief that none of it exists. Yeah. I mean, in this world, it, it unfortunately it does. We've came across ghosts quite a lot. Then you really don't have any excuse for spooking the heck out of people. <laughs> you make it sound so abominable. I'm just trying to get them to see the humor in it all. That's why people. That's why people think you're uh, weird. You're weird. I've yet to see the funny side. <laughs> I never thought you'd be such a bore. Never mind. If you stick by me, everything will become clear. All right, let's get going. Follow me. Wouldn't it be funny if it really did? Like, like that literally went clear. Wouldn't it be funny if the, the child just went see-through and it came clear? <laughs> uh, okay. Director, wait. What about Big G? Don't forget. Big G? Who's Big G? The G. The Big G. Big G. Uh, God? Is that his one about? Big G? Who's that? We've been in Lele for ages and never heard that name. Oh, nothing. Just something mung has been pleading with me to take care of. Should be a piece of cake. Where are we going? To visit an important potential client. I'll lead the way. Oh, actually I am, it would seem, but whatever. <laughs> to be fair, if I had her in my party, she would be leading the way. I'm not gonna switch her for just some that. We're just gonna pretend she is. Uh, sorry. Who are you? Hello, I'm Hu Tao, director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Okay, so why would someone from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor be looking for me? Ah. Uh, let me guess, because he's on the heftier side, he's more likely to die soon. Mm, nothing major. How are you feeling these days? Any aches or pains? Oh my god, I was right. She's sizing up everyone for coughing. You shouldn't ignore them, by the way. Very often they're an omen of something terminal. 
When we're healthy, it's easy to forget the crushing fragility of life. So, aches and pains, best to keep an eye on them. What are you getting at? I'm in great health and enjoying life very much, thank you. Go and find some other poor soul. Goodbye. <sighs> Why did they get angry? What's wrong with a few earnest health tips? Hyman thinks it's because they're coming from the director of a funeral parlor. <laughs> uh, she's right though, because it makes it seem like you're you're you're, you're trying to get it get it seem like they die soon so they so she can get. Um, well, I started strong, then my brain went dead again. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. Oh, oh, well, this guy looks fine. I don't think he's even close to death yet. Oh, is it because he's older? Uh, and you are. Be quick. I'm busy. Hello there. Hello Would you there. be interested in understanding a bit about our services at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Uh, I'm not in need of your services. So you're out here looking for new customers? Don't you think this might be a bit of a crass way of going about it? Hardly. Isn't this the fashion these days? Bring the service to the customer and all that. Yeah, it works for other, other businesses, but... <laughs> I'm not sure it's every service that falls into that. Exactly my point. Uh, anyway, please bother someone else if you don't mind. Uh, another failure. Still... Not the end of the world. Hyman's <laughs> curious. Does this approach ever work out for you? I oh, shouldn't answer that. General! Oh wow, I really died from that. Like I got like a sliver of health. Doggy! Who's a good boy? Who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? I can't pet the dog. Ah, it's so cute. I want to pet the doggy. He's a good boy, he's a good boy. Come on, we can do it. He's a good boy, he's a good boy. Excuse me, ma'am. I know your face. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Director, right? I'm sorry, I'm really in no need of it. Don't apologize, get to know us. We've got a new sale going on. Ever hear the saying, out with the old, in with the new? Well, going out with a bang is the best way to start off in style on the other side. <laughs> Wait, what? What does she mean by that? Like, set fireworks? Set the set the coffin into the sky? Yeah, it's going without a bang, I guess. If you keep talking like this, I'll have to call the Millilith. No, no, no. Okay, relax. We're leaving. But Wangsheng Funeral Parlor awaits your distinguished patronage. You really don't give up, do you? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Are you trying to make me feel better? Well, thank you. Seems you understand me far better than most people. Not really. This is just getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're business. Please. So, yeah, Business development? Is that what you see this as? Surely you don't think all that was business development? Then what was it exactly? Traumatization for its own sake? No, no, no. The business development ended after the discussion with the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> I was helping to find somebody for Mung. You remember Big G? Right, right, right. That rings a bell. As it turns out, the big G that Mung is looking for is a ghost to drift in the mortal realm. The three we saw just now were all people I suspected of being followed by Big G, but having seen them, I didn't sense the presence of anything otherworldly. Oh. So we just had a quick chat and I left it at that. So that's what questions were about. She wasn't trying to Size them up for a coffin. She was trying to see if they're if they're being followed by a ghost. So I afraid, afraid I was the asshole here. I apologize. If if that was that if, if 
if that was stopping for a quick chat. Hmm. What business do it for? Why didn't you say so? Paimon thought you had some kind of sixth sense for, uh, people in declining health. That's what I thought. Huh? What would I need that kind of ability for? I'm no doctor. <laughs> Were you seriously hoping that the director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was going to start healing people? Or... Paimo was trying to subtly imply that... Uh, never mind. Paimo wouldn't know how to explain subtlety in a way you'd understand. <laughs> <sighs> well, let's leave that for now and head back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. This Big G matter is very closely linked to Meng. Big G... Why is it that I'm is he being followed by a ghost? <laughs> um, why? It shouldn't explain why he needs to find a ghost, though. Let's we'll find out once we get to, back to the 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 the, 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 the funeral parlor. <laughs> what well, did she? I just wasn't fully paying attention. Quite a moment. <gasps> Okay, that's him. Mung, I'm back. Mm. <sighs> I'm afraid we're still no closer to finding Big G. I see. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. I've already searched in all the likely places. Who is this Big G anyway? I guess I should start at the beginning. My home was in the vicinity of Wuong Hill. In my youth, I had a good many friends there. Big G was one of them. We were the best of friends. Inseparable, really. But one day, there was an accident. And that was the end of him. I've never forgotten. Too many memories, I suppose. I often return to Wuong Hill. But recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. Now, every night, Big G appears in my dreams. I can't help but wonder, did I disturb him somehow? Sounds like a total story. That's some kind of... Perhaps. I don't have proof, but... I can't stop worrying. I get more anxious every day. How would I ever come to terms with my childhood friend becoming an evil spirit? I saw that this cat, this cat seems to always want to be in the frame we're around here. He's just like, just there, right in the corner, just happily smiling. About, yeah, look at the little kitty cat. <sighs> That's why he joined Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. In place of a salary, I'm helping him deal with this matter. And in fact, what Mung has said is entirely plausible. Spirits on occasion do find a way into our world. But as for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. But are you sure there's no danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around harming people. You see what I mean? Look at the state of him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk forever. So it's just hard to take it seriously when you call it the Big G. Just say ghost or his friend. Call it the Big G. He's so sick. Those people we found today were also Monk's childhood friends. I thought there was a good chance Big G might have hidden among them. But here we are, empty handed. So sad. Not much. It's very hot today, so I'm probably doing a short stream today. I'm just going to do Yu Tao's story mission and call it for the day. Today, because as the day cools on, the more warmer it gets. I can't kind of have a fan in here because it doesn't really make any difference and it would most likely get picked up by the microphone. But how about you? Wong Hill, childhood friends? <sighs> Seems like we're out of leads. Uh, 
Sorry, excuse me, is this Wangshan Funeral Parlor? My name's Luo Chung. I've had this awful feeling recently, like something's staring at me. Oh, that sounds creepy. Ooh. Just chin. Okay. Some of my friends and I went to Wuwang Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. I've been having recurring nightmares, but the doctors can't find anything wrong with me. Someone wants attention right now. Cat wants attention right now. Attention. Okay. I think that it's a curse, right? I've been cursed by a demon. Or ghost. Say no more. There's no doubt it's a demonic curse, all right. <laughs> and a serious one at that. <laughs> well, she she has no chill. You believe so too? That it's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell in the Archon War returned to cast their evil curses upon mortals. And if the curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body, laying waste to flesh and bone. Oh, what a wretched end! The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales! Wu Wong Hill? Hmm. No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. <laughs> Hold your horses, both of you. There's no need to creep each other out. Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? <laughs> She's got you there. Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me. I beg you. I'm too young to die. So someone decided to not want to do. The only problem with having cats is to remind myself they are still molting. I just stroked and I got a clump of fur in my hand. All right, all right. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to the right person. However, in order to lift the curse, we need a suitable location, and we need to make some preparations. Come with me, my trusty assistants. I'm going to need your help. I guess I'll come too. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism, the one I taught you. When you're ready, come and find me. Once we've finished with this, Don't we'll get back to I'm the big G now. matter. She's below me, winding around near the computer. Okay, I, I guess. She's going to switch the computer off, and more she's going to pull. Right, no, don't worry yourself, get to the computer. Right, let's go. Alright. Get going then. Stars and some ghosts. Sounds like fun. Usually, usually she's like asleep around now, especially more so in the hot room, which I still don't understand why you want to be in this room. I've got a bowl of water for her, I'm not an idiot. There's a bowl of water next in my room here if she gets thirsty. But still, we'll be there downstairs where it's a lot cooler. Hmm? Oh, wait, I should probably do that before. And so, what mysterious rituals are you gonna perform here? Demonic ones. No ritual at all. We just need to kill some time. Okay. Eh? Wait, you didn't take all that vengeful God's curse stuff seriously, did you? <laughs> they were eradicated ages ago. So why are we here? You saw those two. One thinks he's been cursed, and the other one believes his friends turned into an evil spirit. It's hard to reason with them. 
<sighs> now you see why I believe that ordinary folks should be kept in the dark. I've seen too many people lose their senses on account of things like this. If you want to calm them down, you need to convince them with something tangible. Ah. But what if an event ends up actually being true, though? And the best way to do that is to make a great show of destroying the boogeyman they believe in before their very eyes. Uh, sounds like that might work. If you were trying to cheer up a three-year-old. <laughs> it's, it isn't best to tell someone the truth. You're on to something. After all, we're only afraid of what we don't know. Because you can't guarantee that telling an ignorant person the truth will improve the situation instead of exacerbating it. Okay. What I can do is pretend to pull back anyone who believes their time is nigh. But since the curse is imaginary, our fix will also be make-believe. Makes sense. But why would anyone believe that it's a curse? Do you know the history of the Yaksha? I haven't heard, heard of it before. I know... They once fought against the ancient gods. They fought brilliantly in a battle that engulfed the whole world in darkness. Although the gods were defeated in the end, their resentment persevered. That resentment turned into a pestilence spreading amongst the ordinary folk. Hysteric people mistook it for the curse of the gods. The plague took the lives of many, which only furthered its spread, as the dead were a breeding ground for the disease. Then someone discovered how to prevent it from spreading, purify the air, and burn the bodies of the deceased. The pioneers of these practices were, you guessed it, the founders of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Oh, Paimon didn't see that coming. Really? Yes. Anyway, it took many years. But eventually, the plague was completely eradicated. <sighs> We've dealt with similar phenomena multiple times throughout the ages. Each time, we successfully restored the balance between life and death. To sum it up, we are gatekeepers, guarding the border for the sake of both the living and the dead. <laughs> so when I say this curse is just a figment of the imagination, I say it with more certainty than most. But I also can't really go telling people that the ancient plagues were real, or it would incite panic. Fair point, fair point. She's started to go back to a little bed now, she's done having her pets. Weren't ya? If we're supposed to salt him when they start licking herself, I pet you and then you go and lick yourself like I gave you germs or something. Hmm? Anyway, let's wait a bit more and get ready for the show. This ley line monolith will make for a really great prop. A while later. Oh, you're finally here. We just finished our preparations. Now, look here. This device is used to drive away evil spirits. It'll absorb the curse inside you and cause it to take a physical form. But don't worry, the traveler here is a seasoned warrior and will assure our safety. Doing the, doing the dirty work again. Oh right, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Are you sure about that? Will that really solve my problem? Trust the director. She might look like a weirdo, but she's serious about everything she does. <sighs> How can you call me a weirdo? I mean, wouldn't you say it's more charmingly naive or disarmingly different? Uh, no weirdo. <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. My glamorous assistant, please activate the device. Which is gonna cause a lot of huge trolls to appear, I, I'd imagine. Damn, that's a loud claim. I'm not sure if I got picked up by the microphone, but damn, must be flying low. No, it's, oh, wait, I should pick it again. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, Is it really possible to materialize the curse? I've done this enough. I'm counting on you! 
come at me, bro. Ow. Well, he definitely came at With me. With sword comes shadow. Power cord. Right. With the wind. Okay, let's see these come up. I don't quite kill them. But this will. Oh, is it? How are you feeling? Did the curse leave your body? Uh, yes. I feel more invigorated than ever before. I'm cured. I guess that's what we call good old placebo effect. Uh, I can't express how grateful I am for your and the Traveler's help. If it hadn't been for you, the curse would have taken my life. Ah, uh, great. In which case, I guess now I can tell you. Da, 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 da. You've been pranked. <laughs> well, that's, that's going to ruin it. Uh, what? This exorcism device? People like you wouldn't recognize it, but it's just an old ley line monolith, deceptively effective at attracting monsters. And those were real monsters, not a manifestation of your curse. <sighs> so riddle me this. If I didn't do anything to lift the curse, then what's the cause of your sudden recovery? The curse wasn't real? Then why was I sick? It was worrying yourself too sick. Well, you caught a cold, ate something bad, or just scared yourself sick. It's anyone's guess, but I'm leaning towards the last option. Wouldn't be the first time in my career. How unexpected. I also didn't expect that, but still, I'd like to thank you. <sighs> Don't mention it. I found a way to deal with your fears this time, but I can't do it over and over again. So I'd appreciate it if you try not to give in to superstitions in the future. Human life is short. Enjoy it while it lasts. Wow. I... Uh, what a weird thing to say. No, it isn't. That's kind of a very common thing to say to not worry and enjoy, li and enjoy life. Uh, I... I shall head back. I'm sorry for troubling you. I feel relieved to see that it wasn't Big G's doing. So I can't However, have laugh at that. unless he crosses the border, the there will be no Big end to his antics. He's such a daft man. Since we are done with the matter at hand, can we resume our search for Big G? I believe that won't be needed. He found us first. <gasps> Boost. Big G? Uh, um, I didn't mean to bother you. Any of you. This is Big G? He's just a child? Well, he did say he was childhood friends. He sounded like he died as a child. Why are you surprised? Oh, well, he is a spirit. It's quite normal that he looks just like he did when he left this world. Yeah, spirits don't age. Unless it's, unless it's Bleach, which I've been re-watching that. And that still doesn't make sense to me. When people die and go to the Soul Society. I mean, granted, they age, but at a very slow rate. But it's still weird. I could probably explain it somewhere in the show, and I just don't remember. Anyway. Um, that's not what Paimon imagined when Paimon first heard the name Big G. What do you expect? A really tall kid? It's really big with deep sound and voice like this. Why has a cockney accent, but whatever. Well, let's bring him back to Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. We have much to do. How do you. How do you do it? It's a ghost. If we touch him, our hands will go through him. I guess he just follows us then. <laughs> no, that's not a map. Oh, that's not going to take us slightly nearer. Actually, no, I think that would be nearer. Oh, <laughs> Dang it, he also just phased through. After all that's happened, I was 
not even sure what's going on anymore. Not only did you see just like Actually, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Remember what I said? There's only so many evil spirits in this world. It was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuang Hill in the first place. Now, for some reason, he can't go back. This explanation sounds a bit far-fetched to Paimon. You're looking at a ghost, Paimon. And that is far-fetched to you? Actually, she pretty much summed it up. Huh? <laughs> Don't ever question my professional instincts. I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I came to Liyue Harbor. I promise I wasn't up to any mischief. I never wanted to scare anyone. This actually varies on, on, on that with, with, with ghosts. Whether you believe in ghosts or not in real life, that none of them are really malicious or, or really in Ill, Ill harm or terror. They just don't know that they're causing, you know, distress or death. Some don't even know they're dead. Some. There's some theories in ghosts that they don't even know they're they're um they're dead or not. And um it's very rare that anyone any if spirits do exist, uh would be able to do anyone ill harm. I think the reason people get scared of the idea of ghosts is because they watch too many horror movies and immediately assume that they're out to harm Because here's a fear on this. It'd be dumb for a ghost to kill you. Cause here's why. You'd be a ghost. And then you could fuck with him for eternity for killing you. So why would a ghost want to kill someone knowing full well that you could just fuck with them for the rest of their eternity as a ghost? And all, oh, all aside, um, my brain went dead. I tried to, I, every time I try to figure a smart talk, it just comes out like dumbassery. That's how my brain works. A few days ago, some people came to Wuong Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up here. Oh, it must have been poor Lo Chung that he followed. Maybe he didn't notice you, but he could still feel your presence. Now we know what caused his nightmares. Uh, I was discovered? Oh, I assume so, otherwise he wouldn't have been scared half to death. Why didn't you come a lot long for her? Yeah, Hu Tao and Mung were searching for you all over the place. Oh, that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue Harbor, and I got lost in the city. Now that you mention it, Cat G always had a poor sense of direction. When we were kids, he'd never go down the hill by himself. We always had to lead him. I, I, I suck at directions too. I'm the worst person to ask for directions. So, all of this was just because you got lost? Lost ghost, huh? Why didn't you just fly? Like any other ghost or spirit. Don't you think it's much easier to find your way from up above? I can't. It's too high for me. I get scared. Okay, now I have to question this logic. Like, here's the thing, another thing about, well, since we're on the subject of death with this one, the reason we most people have a fear of height is the fear of falling and dying. That's where the fear of anything, almost everything comes from. It's that fear of that thing killing you, but if you're a ghost, you wouldn't be afraid of heights. If I, if, if I had a guarantee I wouldn't fall, from my de fall to my death, I'd be high up in the sky at, um, all the time. That just seems stupid. I know it's a kid ghost, but even so. That's right, yes. He used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the hill. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Good thing they call... Good, good thing they don't call it you at all. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I wasn't supposed to show myself to the living, and with so many people walking around Liyue Harbor, my only choice was to hide. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the Leyline Monolith's call. Ah, so that actually helped. I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. 
Like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. <laughs> now, all we have to do is escort this lost child back to Wuang Hill. And we should be done and dusted. 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 How it's done and dusted. But whatever. Yeah, think, uh, so, like I said, I think we watch a bleach. All I can think of when they say evil spirits now is this hollows. Which has been fun because obviously, if. Very many people don't know Bleach is coming back, which I'm excited for. I'm having my fingers crossed that it's going to have a simul dub and I won't have to wait too long because back in the old days of anime, the, to uh, date myself, sometimes you have to wait years for for dubs. Still doesn't say that doesn't still doesn't happen, but it's very rare that you have to wait long for dubs, but hope, hopefully, because hopefully, sometimes it'll be like a couple of weeks to a couple of months, but it, I doubt I'd be waiting too, that would be really annoying if I had to wait two years for Bleach. But Bleach is very popular so I very much doubt that. Right. But he just said he wanted to visit his friends. Apart from me, there's also Little Wu, Mumu, and Songza. <laughs> Little Wu. Well, if that's the case, we can't let him down. We'll ask them all to help us prepare a farewell ceremony for Big G. Mung and I will escort Big G back to Wulong Hill. So you meet with those three and ask still. them for I'm keepsakes to symbolize each one of them during the ritual, then come and find us. When it's dealing with a ghost, it's, it's a child ghost, but... I, don't, I know kids have nicknames, but I can't think of anyone calling them someone close to Big G. Maybe when you're teenagers, I could see that, but like... When you're kids? They're all friends. Can't we just go there all together? Or maybe we can take Big G to them! Uh, and scared the living crap out of them? Um, that's not a good idea. I want to scare them. Exactly. Hmm, I wouldn't want ordinary folks to become superstitious. The less they know, the better. So be careful what you say when you collect the keepsakes. Are we really going with Hu Tao's plan? At least by keeping things low key, we won't be giving anyone nightmares. Indeed, indeed, Paimon, indeed. <laughs> so let's talk to this dude for us and see what keepsake we get from him. Uh, hi! <laughs> Do you remember us? Oh, you. Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor's services anytime oh, soon. Told her. Told us a story. Yes, we grew up together. We still keep in touch even now. I don't know why he started working for Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, I find their director to be quite peculiar. But he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all. And he still can't get over what happened to Big G. Did he tell you about it? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Um. If you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? Just, you know, theoretically speaking. We're just being hypothetical here. <laughs> Definitely not gonna actually go commemorate him or anything. <laughs> That's a little, little on the nose. <laughs> I... I'd cook something for him. Oh, he could eat spicy food like no other. His favorite meal was extra spicy Jue Yun chili chicken. That's impressive for a kid. I have to admit that is. When I was a kid, I didn't know any kids who would eat very spicy food. I can't even think of any. Just around that age. I don't even, I'm an adult man. I, I don't even like spicy food. I hate spicy food. Because I feel like, it, in my personal opinion, I think it ruins the taste of food. Because all you taste is the bloody spice and nothing else. I don't mind mild. I will go for a little bit of spice, a pinch and pinch of salt, uh, sp spice, but not not an overbearing amount of spice. I can make it for you if you bring me some Jueyu and chilies. I'm sure he'd appreciate the flavor of his childhood years. I still use that old recipe. Deal! Just give us a minute. Do I have the chilies? I think it's. Jueyu and chilies are a common sight in Miyu. I do! I fired these weird octopusy looking things. Great, this should be enough. 
How many did I give him? I wasn't really paying attention. I just clicked and did I'll it. I'll get started on the Julia and Chili Chicken. I guess you've got other folks to track down. When everyone's ready, I'll get the dish over to you. Great! Oh. See you later! Alligator. Uh, how did he know about the others? Because you pretty much blew a cover from the Gecko Paimon. You weren't subtle at all about it. You pretty much just gave away that we're doing a send off for their old friend. Wow, I'm just going to talk to the other one and see what the other one is. Uh, 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 uh. Now, I can feel the sneeze. Definitely give it a sneeze. I've said this before, I don't know what's with me streaming, but I always have to feel the need to sneeze. Where do I actually sneeze? Ugh, not you again. I told you, I'm not interested in the inner workings of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Mun told us about you. You're good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. Come to think of it, I remember he did join Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor recently. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. Uh, the Big G incident. But I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Letting go of the past is a painful process. I would know. So, is Big G the reason you're here to see me? Indeed it is. How did you know? We didn't even say anything. <laughs> I'm a businessman. I've got a sixth sense for this kind of thing. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. I never heard the end of it when I set up shop. But, I'd say I proved a few people wrong. Eh. Eh. Eh, no. Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Being a kid, you want cool, expensive toys, and when you... that's why I, that's why I don't see that the the judgment of buying like uh, cool robot anime or any figurines and that. I was believed in if you got the disposable income and you want to buy something for yourself, buy yourself something. Obviously, you pay bills, stock up the fridge for food, you know, buy pay for the important stuff. But if you got the spare cash, why not buy a weird? A toy, even a toy from something you always wanted in your childhood, if you can get hold of it. But, um, uh, I always start off strong, but you get my point. Um, yeah, I understand. Wow, you must be like super rich. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a memento of a childhood long gone. Without it. We wouldn't be where we are today. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for a little Wu and Songza next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We already saw a little Wu. Now we gotta find Songza. I see. If it's Songza you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. Wait, the it's just above was the staircase little leading little down Wu. to the dock. He should be called. I know it's a bit in a bit insensitive because he's your wide, but. You know, it makes sense. Big G. The other kid should have been called Lil Woo. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm but done. But then again, there's always that, that jokiness of someone being called Little and they're not actually Little. <sighs> oh, like, can I climb up there? Try it. A little shortcut. Oh, yes. <sighs> it's like damn apples. I took the little shortcut. I can't remember if I can climb. Um, oh shit, I'm stuck. I'm not unstuck. I'm I, I have raised the heat again. I thought that woman was holding a cat in her arms, but she's not. Huh? You're all here! Reminiscing yeah. about old times, thinking back to past events. We've been at it for years. Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster, so. We've got nowhere to go back to. Now, home is wherever friends are. Oh, that's sweet. They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes? I make artisan sail lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. 
I guess they represent me better than anything. A few days ago, I bought some quality Plostrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I've already spoken to the manager. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back in a jiffy. Back in a jiff, 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 jiff. That's gif, jiff. Fast travel, baby. Riding down below, grab some doors. It's okay, come again. I can feel it. I can feel it sneeze. I'm behind you, mate. Surprise, motherfucker. Hi, we're here to pick up the Plostrite shards for Sansa. <laughs> Someone's behind his back. Just... I can't see her. Well, kind can't see her little hands. I think she mentioned it. Oh, geez. yes, here you are in the <laughs> register. No problem. <laughs> He's talking into his shoulder. The plostrite shards are over in that crate there. Please help yourselves. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh. <laughs> Wait, which crate? Oh, oh, there. Doesn't seem like they're here. Let's look someplace else. Doesn't seem like they're here. Let's, Let's look, look somewhere else. else. Doesn't seem like they're here. Let's look somewhere else. Wait, there's it. Oh, I see. Up there. These look like what Sunzo was talking about. Let's head back. Alright. Hey. And let's take a little shortcut again. I'm back from crying stuff. No, 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 no. My thanks to both of you. This looks like great stuff. Please, wait a moment. This is the final step. Okay, there we go. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. Aww. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. No matter what the days may bring, whichever roads we choose to take, while this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. As for the matter of Big G, the three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and Agreed we won't press you on it. But if you get the chance, please let them know we're doing well. And that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. You can count on us. Thank you. We'll pass it on. Big G is lucky to have friends like you. We got everything we need. Let's go to Wulong Hill. Oh, sorry. I ain't well, never mind. She's going to <clears throat> How far back this place is? Oh yeah, I want to flash. Fast far travel. Yeah. Far, far travel. Far travel. <laughs> yep, the heat's definitely getting. Yeah. Oh, there's go 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 Oh, you're back already? Sooner than I expected. Why, you thought it was going to take longer? You didn't go spilling the beans, did you, Paimon? She did, pretty much. Does Paimon look that unreliable to you? Did you be? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, looks like they were willing to hand over some keepsakes, so I guess they knew the deal. Nevertheless, when it comes to things like ghosts and ghouls, spirits and souls, one thing everyone knows is you never know what to expect. Which explains why they were reluctant to pry and find out the full story. <sighs> Which is just as well, because if they had attempted to, it would have been too much for me to deal with. Sounds terrifying. Guard the border between life and death. 
This is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's most important responsibility, and I'm stricter than most. So what about us? Does it matter if we cross the border? Of course not. After all, you were caught up in all this already, just like Meng. It's not the end of the world if you catch a glimpse behind the curtain. We've only seen ghosts before. I distinctly be in a mission dealing with a ghost in the, um... I forget the inn's name, but, um... Saw Tower thing. And where we're going, don't be surprised at what you may see or what may occur. All of it exists within the border between the living and the dead. An ordinary place, really. The only special thing about it is that nobody really knows about it. Alright. Whatever you do, don't get all worked up over nothing, okay? Or else by the time we're out, I'll have to erase your memories. <laughs> Why can you do that? Do you have like the men in black, like, me a moment where she puts like sunglasses on and goes, Choo! So listen to everything I say. Let's go. Alrighty then, let's get to I'm scared. That's all gonna be all fine and dandy, Paimon. But like Huta says, we're already caught up in this. We better see it through to the end. Oh, I said almost all of these have to involve a dungeon at some point. Uh, yeah, I should be fine. Uh, are we? Uh, wow, wow they go. What is this place? Somewhere close to death, but not like the Heller Underworld from the Tales of Old. This is just a place where the ley lines tend to go a little bit haywire. So keep your cool. Follow me. The farewell ceremony site is just up ahead. That's the only problem. That pattern looks familiar. From the right angle, you can make out the whole thing. Oh, oh just like last time. Oh, that's just, I, I like that. That would be, that's the just powerful attacks. But the downside is it drains their health. I Meaning, if you have a battle, you have to. Why well, it's oh, good to have Kira, like um, good old uh, Barbara. I bet you'd be using all key like it, so. That's not a ghost. Okay, worst possible time to be using a water tip based on but oh well. annoying that when they, when they, when they break their eyes and they start running like a bunch of cowards. Ah. Time to go. Got off. No, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. This place doesn't feel at peace. That's why it's named the border. You can't just cross whenever you please. You need to have a little... How do people normally put it? Pomp and ceremony? Paimon's pretty sure that's not how people put it. Ah, um, more well, ice, ice people are. Yeah. No, wait, no. Power cord! One <laughs> tango boy. Nowhere to hide. Back, right into a corner. Disappear! How do you stand here? Ah, oh, he's not quite dead. Oh, he's dead. Dead Jim! Think of this situation. Where are you going? There we go. Let the show be. Oh, let's see him there. Ah, I got this one. Oh, uh, 
the way, I imagine Adventurers Guild members are good at making order of things. See if you can find a way to. Oh shit! I was gonna deal with the ghost thing. See if we do what? Okay, we got a little spiritual foot thing for us, okay. And oh, I see the going there, the, the willow wisp things, right? I'm assuming. Yeah, this is no one there. I don't know, there's a chest in the back. Stuff it would seem. And we'll just shove him in there like good. How we're gonna the fact that the uh, indication of fight is a yeah yeah. Oh, not these assholes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Says the world of the world of whip. I think that's what we saw. It looks I the same, but there aren't enough. Oh, so confusing. Let's have a look around or up ahead. Hello, spider. Speed of light. Oh, wow, I vaporized that thing. I was gonna say, there's no animation to swing around the wall. Or... Where we just were before? I was about to say the same thing. Something seems out of miss. Incoming! I'll be fine. What strange goings are happening in this otherworldly life and death? Okay. Oh, Geronimo! I missed something that I was going through. Um, white. <laughs> yeah, there's the, the mines again. What 
essence of that is going on? Have we even been moving forward this whole time? It's almost as if we're constantly being sent back to the beginning. <laughs> Everything we said. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I fucked that up. I okay. I didn't mean to fall off the edge. Now I've got to run around and do that again to trigger it, and some of it will be going around in circles. I'll protect us. Uh, how I fucked that jump up. Well, I did. Oh, I, oh shit, I fucked myself. Because if I run out of stamina in here, well, I would be teleported back to the thing. I was rushing myself and it casted me. Are we going to make it? Are we going to? That was my fault entirely. I just jumped in the water and forgot about my stamina. Because if I run out of stamina while I'm in water, he drowns. And then I'll get respawned back to the thing again. I'm going to have to walk around here again. That's my fault for attacking the bushes again. Okay, now what? Oh, I didn't. Yep, we start again. Oh, I wonder. We're stuck! The spirits have trapped us! <laughs> Don't be daft. You've put my mind at rest. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over. So you set us up? Oh, yeah. If you don't have enough, then why not just carry it through a few more times? What if I put it in the opposite one? Haha! Stuck on that. I put in the opposite one. Hopefully that works. Oh, well, why not? No. There we go. Now we're talking. What does she mean if we don't have enough to carry it? Anymore? Does she mean that I was supposed to actually take the ghost? <gasps> oh! I just realized what I was supposed to do. I'm a dingus, I'm an idiot, a dumbass. I was supposed to take the thing and circle back round and then another one would have appeared in the same spot. Right. Yeah, just as I thought, yeah. We're stuck! The spirits have trapped us! <laughs> Don't be daft. You've put my mind at rest. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over. So you set us up? Oh, yeah. If you don't have enough, then why not just carry it through a few more times? Yes, yeah, so I can carry this little guy through, and then there'll be a secondary one back through there. Oh, where did the swan guy there? That never occurred to my stupid brain, so I was halfway across through this area again. Right, that seems like the most logical thing. If putting one in just circles us back round, and then by logic, Wind blade. we just carry this one through, and then once we go through the door, <laughs> uh, oh, but oh no, 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 crap! Let's see how right I am. Bingo! Nailed it. We're stuck! The spirits have trapped us! <laughs> Don't be daft. You've put my mind at rest. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over. There we go. Finally! Haima thought we were going to be trapped in that weird place forever. <laughs> That's exactly the point. Trespassers end up running scared. 
So that's the weird stuff out of the way, right? Uh, probably not. Yep. <laughs> Just dive off the edge here. What? All right, Geronimo. The good old Meepa Faith, as they say. Now the other cat's in here now. I need some of my shoes for. Welcome to the farewell ceremony site. Our destination is just up ahead. I know you're excited, so feel free to have a look around and talk amongst yourselves. Soon you'll find out there's nothing special about this place. Nothing special? This is really cool looking. Um, why is she here? What? Oh my god! Oh no! It's not. It's not gonna be one of those things where they're with ghosts all along. It is, isn't it? Are you clients? Apologies. This is just a little unexpected. Seeing that it was Hu Tao that brought you puts me at ease. But I'm afraid we don't have the means to entertain guests here. Who are you? My name is Lan Si. I've been waiting for someone for a long time now. I was not saying exactly how long before. I it couldn't been really the say. Same. I was misinter misinterpreted. It's a point where you use similar character models, it throws you off. I thought it was the other friends and they were actually dead. Everyone says waiting is difficult. But walking, watching, talking to newcomers, and the old crowd, it helps to pass the time. I can keep waiting, but who knows whether what I'm waiting for will ever come to pass. It's all the same to me. Waiting's all I can do anyway. But if you two are looking for someone important to you, it's best not to keep waiting forever. Interesting. Oh, I can I can just go straight ahead. I do want. Are you new here? What a coincidence! So am I. I can't believe how nice the scenery is. I thought it'd be all pitch black and freezing cold with no sense of space or time. Are we in limbo, the space between life and death? Here I can finally work out a lifetime of emotions. It's fantastic. <laughs> Perhaps I just set my expectations too low. Well, I actually, oh, I can't pause. Um, I don't know why I need to pause. It's not like I'm on a timer here. Um, I'll be back in a second because I need to uh, pee.
also don't suck another glass of water to finish my other glass. Gotta stay hydrated. By the way, have you seen Uncle Jean recently? That guy? I remember him saying it was time for him to move on. Ugh. Good for him. I wonder where he's off to next. The afterlife? If you're curious, why don't we go and see for ourselves? <laughs> uh, some other time, perhaps. I'd like to stay here for a while. <sighs> it's the lantern right again! Wouldn't it be cool if we got to see the lanterns ourselves one day? I hope this is a memory and I wasn't right the first time. You can make a wish with that. I said memory, you know? yeah. My mom told me. As long as you yell it really loud, your wish will come true in the future. Yell it? Isn't that kinda embarrassing? As Hello soon as there, the first too. person yells, and everyone else just joins in, and nobody feels embarrassed anymore. That's right. Little Wu, you start. I'm doing great dealing with the heat wave that's going to be hitting through the UK for mostly over a week. That's why I'm doing this. I felt like doing a little sto short story mission, do a little short stream today, and try and cool off for the rest, <laughs> the rest of rest, rest of the day. But how are you doing as well? All right, I. I wish I could open a massive restaurant with never-ending dishes and snacks, so I could enjoy you and chili chicken every day! <laughs> that's your wish? If that's so funny, what's your wish? To get rich, of course. Do big business and make a load of Mora. With Mora, you can do whatever you want and be happy. Okay, nice. Well, I'm doing good. I, I live in... Germany and it's it's rain. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, oh, thanks for the follow as well. Thank you, good kind sir. I'd imagine it's different in Germany. The thing is, in you, okay, ring in my ear. The thing with the UK is that uh, I guess it applies anywhere in the world. It's not necessarily the temperature that gets gets us; it's the humility. Alongside the temperature, because right now it is, I believe, uh, 24 degrees, but it feels a lot hotter than that because the humidity is about 50% almost humidity. But during the British weather, once this heat wave is over, we'll have a hell of a lot of rain afterwards. Yeah, if you get rich, you could buy that super expensive toy box. Not just one, one for everyone. No, loads for everyone. Well, if Mumu's gonna be a businessman, then I don't need to earn any money. Whoa, 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 it's tough getting rich. Don't put all the pressure on me. As for me, I want to learn to make Ming Xiao lanterns. The big kind! And Xiao lanterns, too. I'll be the best artisan around. Yeah! That way we don't need to go to Liyue Harbor to release Xiao lanterns. Uh, anyway, those are our wishes. Mung, Big G, what about you? Me? Huh? They all disappeared. Right when he was about to make his wish. I'm sure we're gonna find out what it is. It brings back so many memories. That was the last lantern ride the five of us spent together. It's been so long. Everyone's all grown up. It's nice and the game is a little is a little too long. Hmm. Have all those wishes really come true? They came true. We asked each of them for parting gifts for you. Little Wu's become a chef, 
Momo's a successful businessman, and Tsongzo makes great shell lanterns. Really? Wow. We've never forgotten our childhood dreams. We've kept them in our hearts as a promise to each other. Okay, it's not. Oh, I think the heat's scaring me, so the game's a little loud, okay, um... Let's see, tweak this a little bit. Uh... I'm going about here. Anyway. How's that? Time to release this lantern. Hey, take a hint. Let's give them some space to go over the good old days. I don't know if, they want to, if that's a little bit better. I definitely keep getting learning to me. I've said before I don't bother with a fan in here because it makes no difference because my room has to be the most warmest room in the house. As I stepped out earlier to get a drink and the rest of the house feels fine, but it feels a lot warmer in here. Mm. That's why I got a nice tall glass of cold water to keep myself nice and cool. Take the hint? Really? Of all of us, you're the one who needs to learn how to read the room! That's why I'm waiting for for the next span. Oh, right. I'm playing the I'm playing the um PS5 version at the moment. Yeah, no, that's um uh, next week actually. I will be actually doing the event around that next week as well because they they're doing the the summer event for that too, the the story stuff which is really interesting. Just fancy doing a bit of sto uh, one of the story counter story missions because they tend to be in that mid range not too long or not and not and uh, or too short just for today while well, the weather's warm need to monks already crossed the border that's the only way to send big g off as i explained wangsheng funeral parlor was once upon a time more akin to a doctor's office than an actual funeral parlor during the archon war piles of corpses covered the wilderness people were plunged into misery and suffering Disease was spreading all over the land. Death devastated the world of the living. Such were the times when the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was first established. As humans, its founders were deemed too insignificant to matter. But slowly, they managed to drive away death. Yeah. That's... Because uh, I think the event uh, starts on... Wednesday, so I'll probably because yesterday I um, finished Duke Nukem 3D and I want to do Stray on here, which is that cat game, and that's not until next the following week. So instead of doing one stream of this, I'll be doing two of that next week, both Friday and and Saturday next week, uh, to fill in that space until Stray comes out. Speaking of, of cats, I have this little map. On my room, that's like a cool mat, uh, like it's gel in it. it, keeps nice and cool. And it's nice to see one of them's actually using it because, as I've said before, my cats feel like they want to be in the most hottest room ever, so I need to put things in here that'll make them feel nice and cool. You bet on that? That's a cool mat for you to lie down and cool down in. They must have paid a huge price for that. After generations, Liyue Harbor became a bustling hub of prosperity, luring people with dreams of great fame and abundant mora. But in the end, some lunatics stirred up the legacy of the dead. By that I mean the remnants of the defeated gods that ravaged the world. I won't go into specifics of that situation, but suffice to say that at its peak, life was on the verge of bringing about its own extinction, while death was coming back with a vengeance. It took a long, long time, longer than you'd think, to restore balance and reinstate the border. Without it, 
Liyue Harbor as we know it wouldn't be here today. Neither would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, you or me. It's explaining, explaining to me. <laughs> the previous directors all love to tell this one too. Although, if you ask me, I think I tell it best. What you make of my words is up to you. I do hope that most of it flew over your heads, though. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is just that, a funeral parlor. Nothing more to it. Maybe it's for, 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 for the best. Better. We live in peaceful times, but this harmonious coexistence between life and death should never be taken for granted. Huh? It's about time. Let's go. Let's take them to the place where all begins and all goes to rest. What kind of place is that? I just mean where we first bumped into each other. I come up with fun names for things sometimes, okay? No need to hound me with questions about every little thing I say. As a, uh, as a main, but but still have not not much story, not so much story. But but I have. Okay. I have a two act, but I don't. I use. I don't have a main party because I've been. Slow trying to level up a lot of characters because when I once I get one character like oh I can level one I want to level them up because uh, my adventure rank right now is level fifty, which means the world world level is level five and there's a lot of high level monsters meaning every time I get a new character it takes a lot longer to level them up and sometimes after several grinding you feel less in the mood to want to grind more to get characters near to the same level uh, as as they are that's why i have these same characters because i started off, well more or less started off with them around the same time where it wasn't so long to level characters up i don't know what level i have her at though let's actually check that let's see where, there she is level 80. I have her right. because because I, I also have now I also have the Wyland Shogun which I want to level her up and then I got Edo and I want to level him up. So many characters to level up to, so I can actually use them in battle. But yeah, these are the main ones I've managed to level up before the point where it got really difficult to level them up or time consuming, not necessarily diff difficult. Because I do play other games that, than this. That's kind of the the point of games like this. Just like they're really are meant for people who play just one thing and don't play many games, but when you want to play other stuff, I think time we to did do that everything stuff, we could to make you happy, Big G, difficult. wouldn't you say? But if you ever really do become an evil spirit and come back with more nefarious nonsense in mind, I may have to forget our friendship and give you a far less fond farewell. <laughs> I won't, I promise. <sighs> I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. Now that I know that my friends are doing so well, I have no intention to bother them. I also want to thank you. You made my dream come true, too. So you should also mind my warning, Monk. If you won't let go of the past, I might reunite you two sooner than you think. <laughs> How can you say such horrendous things with that smile on your face? <laughs> well then, last but not least, let's say our goodbyes to Big G. See you later, Big G. It's <laughs> so funny the way she said it. Uh. Not like that. You won't be seeing him later. Let's stick to goodbye and such. <laughs> no worries. I'll just take my leave. I'm sorry. Of all the wishes we yelled that day, only ours hasn't come true. Nah, don't be bothered by that. No life is without its regrets. You can leave in peace now. All right, I'll remember you all. Uh, goodbye. He's gone then. I thought that closure would bring me relief, but all I can feel now is emptiness. So, what was the wish you two made? We didn't have a chance to hear it earlier. Well, after each of us has started a family and built a career, 
We want both our families to spend the lantern right together. Ah. That's why I envy my friends so much. Little Wu and the rest, they all had a chance to fulfill their wishes. Mine, however, will remain just a dream. Sure, but you still have a lot ahead of you. Let's go that one. That's right. Also, think about this. Everyone gets burnt to ash one day. So enjoy your life while you can, and when your duty to the living is over, you can meet whoever you want again in the afterlife. Isn't that great? Uh... Thank you? Either way, I don't think I'll ever return to Wuong Hill. I have a lot of feelings to process. No worries. It's a good opportunity for you to go on vacation. Consider your leave approved. Naturally, this doesn't change the terms of our previous agreement. The leave will be unpaid. Uh, aren't you forgetting about something? Things that you, you would help us in our search. I took you to the border and let you have a look around, didn't I? But based on your reaction, it seems like you didn't find what you're looking for. It is a pity indeed. The biggest pity of all is your lack of help. <laughs> <laughs> I was fishing around on your behalf through the channels that aren't accessible to you. Unfortunately, I didn't find any leads worth pursuing either. I'll keep my eyes open in case anything crops up. If so, I'll be sure to let you know. You don't sound like you mean it. I'm not an expert on tracking down the living. However, if you want me to summon someone from the other side of the border... Oh, stop saying creepy stuff! <laughs> Relax. I'll help you look for them. You have my word. Ugh, my exquisite sense of humor always goes unappreciated. Seems like you really like your job. <laughs> I have my reasons. Reasons? The spirits we saw near the border are the dead that still long for the world of the living. But I've never seen any of the previous directors there, not even once. Ah. This means that becoming the director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was the right decision for them, and left them with no regrets. Ah. Alright. Mm. I can feel the heat. Definitely. Need it. Right, let's uh switch over to here for now. And um let's turn that down a little bit more. There we go. I said I always like doing I love story missions, uh side quests for the other characters. It's, just, it's always fun to get to know all the other characters, um and and um, my brain's gone already. <laughs> I don't know. One of the other cats is in here now. She's on the desk. Hello. But um, they're also perfect for if I want to do short streams as well. Uh, but I appreciate everyone stopping by. Um, I usually for the, the new people here. I usually stream Wednesdays, uh, Thursdays, Fridays. And uh, Saturdays around uh, 12 p.m. UK time, but well, if next week being really hot, much hotter than it is today. Streams might be a lot even shorter than this, maybe. But we'll see how those go because usually the morning's usually fine, and it's usually when we get through the rest of the day, it'll get really hot. But um, obviously, next week on Friday and uh, Saturday, as I said, we will be doing the uh, event thing they've got going in Genshin Impact, which I am looking forward to. I always love these uh, event stuff because they always add new cool areas, fun story stuff, all that lovely stuff. Uh. But um, my brain's gone. But the heat really gets me. I don't do good in the hot weather. I hate summer. I'm going to just put it I hate summer. I just, the heat gets to me so easily. But I'll make sure I stay nice and hydrated and all that. And everyone in the UK, uh, do this, do the same. Keep nice and hydrated. And um, um, the 
videos and i hope you have a good rest of your day even what it is and have a good uh weekend because tomorrow i'm going to be going to for love and fun which i'm excited to see that as well um my back i can feel sweat dripping down my back that's not good that is not good uh, i hate when i can feel sweat in my back okay um I'm so sorry, my brain's just gone dead again. I guess, I guess, um, I always said, Frank. I guess I'll, uh, God damn it. I guess I'll see, hopefully, see you either on Wednesday or if it, if it games in on Friday. Um, so good, good, uh, good, ah, damn it, good. I'm just gonna end it before I go in around in circles. I do. <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> Uh